Yes, lads, welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal Podcast. My name is Kosi, back again with another beautiful video. In this one, we're going to discuss Albert Sambilakonga is in London. Finally, it's a done deal, guys. Finally, it's a done deal. Um, I mean, all the anxiety is over. He's in London in isolation for 8 to 10 days. Edin Ketia is wanted by ex-Arsenal um, ex -Arsenal star, who is now Crystal Palace manager. Wow, it's gonna be interesting to see Edin Ketia being managed by uh, Patrick Vieira. It could be, uh, it could happen. However, Villa, uh, however, Crystal Palace, sorry, um, are also interested in Kasper Dolberg. So they are still deciding: do they go for Kasper Dolberg or do they go for Edin Ketia um, as well? And then Arsenal also linked with Calvin Phillips. I'm gonna share my thoughts on that. Um, I mean, I saw this story a couple of days ago and, and, and was like, wow, it's, you, know, you know, we are linked with almost every player that is doing so well in the Euros. Um, what is actually happening? But I'm going to speak about um, all those three, Calvin Phillips, Edin Ketia, as well as Albert Sambi Lokonga. Do smash a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel as well. It really means a lot. And thanks everybody who has subscribed in the last 30 days because the channel is amazing, guys. The channel is amazing, but we've got to make it... Um, more and more amazing we have to get you know, we, we have to get to more subscribers we have to get to more likes as like i said we are close to 26000 subscribers and um the first 50000 subscribers you are, you are going to be the kings and the queens of this uh, channel we will make content for you guys and you will determine what you want on the channel and what you don't want already we have 26 loading 27 loading until we get to our target let's get the party started guys um of course the first story is um let's start off with calvin phillips right um calvin phillips plays at leeds united and he's a central midfielder um uh, he's been playing so consistently well he's been an absolute absolute uh, beauty to watch in the euros it's been so good guys it's been so good i think um if there is a surprise that gareth southgate gave us in these euros it's been calvin phillips o obviously I was expecting um I, I was expecting Jaden Anderson to play in that area probably with uh with Declan Rice because I thought Declan Rice had a really really good game uh, a good season with with West Ham but it's, it's it's been so different it's been absolutely different Calvin Phillips what's a you know what's a you know a tournament he has had if anyone came out and told me um England have won the Euros and Calvin Phillips is his player of the tournament I couldn't disagree. I can't disagree. That guy has been an absolute joy to watch. What? I mean, if your eyes do not, you know, do, do not have any, you know, a, a, any diseases, any problems, you've got to agree with me. Calvin Phillips, so good to watch. But the fact that he's been linked with us, though, is genuine. Um, you know, not really genuine in, in that, that the report is true, but um, it makes sense because, you know, you know we, are, we are in need of a central midfielder. But... When I saw the story, I was like, please stop linking us to every player that gets a good game in the Euros. It's ridiculous. So, I don't think Arsenal will go for Kevin Phillips. I mean, transfers are transfers, but I don't think we will go for Kevin Phillips. As well, um, I don't think the price will be really, really, uh, you know, welcoming. At a time when he has had one of the best tournaments of his life, um, he has had one of the best seasons of his life, then the best tournaments in the Euros of his life, um, write down, writing down history, you know, with England, 55 years without going in, in, into a Euros final and there we are and there the, you know I, I, and there is England ever since 1966 back in the, you know back in the Euros final with Italy well, I don't think you're gonna pay for less than 100 million for, for Calvin Phillips anyway um, honestly I think his price tag could be around 60 to 65 or 70 million pounds I don't think Arsenal are willing to pay um, you know that for a central midfielder when you have the likes of Neves when you have the likes of Awa when the likes of Bisuma, who are, you know could be you know actually um, you know available for half the price of Kevin Phillips at the moment, good player. I would take him at Arsenal. I do love him, but it's not happening, guys. It's not happening. Kevin Phillips, I would love you, bro. Um, I think you know gonna have a very good season at, at Leeds next season, and I think in the next summer it would be very surprising if he stays at Leeds right then. So um. Uh, this is according to Eduardo Hagen, Albert Sambila Conga update. Um, and finally, it's a Dandel. Finally, finally, the guy. You know, uh, until he, you know, he arrives in England, it's not 
it's, it's not that sure but finally paperworks are done contract is done um and the player is in london this is according to eduardo hagan he said albert sambela conga has arrived in london the player will now undergo the second part of his medicals and be officially announced he will quarantine for 10 days meaning he won't go for scot to scotland but will join the team in the usa right big up eduardo hagan make sure you follow him on twitter one of those like i said um very ambitious and um um, um, um you know hard-working journalists eduardo hagan is one of them very young but very hard-working Please do give him a follow on Twitter. And of course, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Kosi19 is Instagram. And Kosi, C-O-S-S-Y, is my Twitter handle. So, Abe Sambila Konga contract signed. Everything done. No other thing. Medicals completed. Of course, uh, the first part was done in the Netherlands. The second part um, of his medicals is believed to be uh, to be scheduled um, and booked in the UK, according to Eduardo Hagan. And he says um, the player will have now to quarantine for 10 days. Of course, um, the early information I had was um, it was 8 to 10 days. Uh, but now for him, he says it's going to be 10 days. And look, I don't know whether we're going to announce him before um, you know he goes into quarantine. Because I, I would love to. I would love. I would have loved. I would have loved him to be. Um, uh, announced at, at least next week but if it's 10 days then you know probably it's monday it's the next monday after this one uh, that is too far i mean i, I would love another uh, another announcement from us it would really really make sense um especially now that we have um, a 22 million euro signing so um lokonga is no longer a problem no longer an issue guys so let us stop it at that albert sammy lokonga is now officially officially done we're just waiting for that um uh, announcement from the likes of Mikel, from the likes of edu um telling us you know what this guy is done but he's in london and he's going to be um in self-isolation for an uh for a period of 10 good days let's talk about edin ketia still in the same video right um palace are interested in edin ketia we know what we know um what's interesting is um palace have now got a new manager and they are, and, and actually their new manager is an ex uh, you know arsenal star in patrick Vieira, ex captain captain fantastic uh best captain in in, in the premier league ever you know you could call him what you want best be, best box to box player you know so apparently he's been given a job at crystal palace and um he's looking at edin ketia as a striker according to um a um, chef sky sports um he said edin ketia will leave the club they've tried to give him a, a contract they've tried to time down on a new contract but things have not actually come out as they expected so the new contract actually has not given us uh, the right resolution we wanted to get to have with um with eddie and looks like it's gonna be moving on from arsenal and uh arsenal asking for around 15 to 20 million euros uh for the young player um and, and, and crystal palace are still evaluating the fact that uh, there is a player uh, uh you know at, at nice in the names of casper dolberg one of those other players that have had a very fantastic season uh actually not season but um a very fantastic um um no um a very fantastic tournament in the euros with denmark very very explosive that's the word i can use and i think um i was i was i was so disgusted and, and uh, when uh when the manager put him off against england i thought he was their only spark he was their only creative spark and he put him off but look let's talk about let's focus about eddie eddie because that is where um our, fo our interest is if eddie goes to crystal palace it is for the benefit of the player i think crystal palace can give us the money we want 15 million 17 million 20 million euros they can give us but i think if he goes to crystal palace what a move what a move for eddie and and, and i've told you in this one i'll never come out and say edu is shit eddie nketia is shit he's not shit i've already said i don't believe in him as um as as as, as, as a big team player i don't think he's gonna become uh, you know um a robert Lewandowski or karim benzema i don't see him turning to that um uh, but, but as well i don't see him turning to a ricky lambert uh someday i think it's gonna be you know better than a ricky lambert uh, you know at, at some point in time i think it's gonna be 
um, better than a Christian Benteke because for, with Eddie, I think if you give them the ch you know, the chance, if you give him the the games, he might prove you wrong. He might you know get this you know get in the numbers, probably ten goals a season, probably twelve goals a season. And look, for me, if you're playing for a club like West Ham, Crystal Palace, West Brom, you've got, you know as long as you get in the ten you know, double figures. As long as you get double figures, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. If as long as you get double figures, it's done. For, for but for you know, a player, a striker, Arsenal, for me, 15 goals is not even enough. For, you know, if you, if you are our lead man at Arsenal, 16 goals, 17 goals, not enough. Because um, our, our midfielders, probably, if you had um, a player like Santi Casola who could score eight, if you have the, if you have the such Fabregas who could score ten, so striker, you've got to give me 30 goals if you're playing for Arsenal. And I don't see Eddie do that, and I don't see Eddie become that kind of player. So I would let Eddie go. Uh, for around 20 million euros or 25 million euros um you know that is th that would be my price range what do you think about eddie leaving the club and what do you think honestly about calvin phillips the midfield dynamite the midfield maestro has been absolutely a joy to watch what a player what a player in the euros look uh players do shine in in, in, in tournaments and then it ends there but i think it i think it, it won't end there he's you no know, last season he was fine in the Euros, he was not fine. He was so bad, like explosive. So, um, if you ask me, Calvin Phillips, I would take you. But the money, the money, I think leaves you know Leeds are gonna Leeds are gonna ask for millions and millions of money. And then Abbas Sambilakonga is in London. He has already arrived. That finally, the deal is done. Arsenal should announce him probably before the ten days expire. Oh, after the day 10 days expire, I remain cosy. Speak to you very, very soon. Remember, catch me live at 6 p.m. today. We had a, I had a headache yesterday, didn't come live, but catch me live today at 6 p.m. We'll be live speaking about Arsenal transfers. And obviously, if you do want to support the channel, data, internet, it's as simple as that. Go down in the, in the description. My number is there. Hit me up on WhatsApp. Hit me up on my messages. You could give me a call and I'll be absolutely grateful.